How are you, my dearest family? Welcome to another one. I've been seeing uh, some of you saying that, Joseph, why don't you cover on the young rising ministers, especially those in their 20s and also women in ministry? Okay, I'm going to start doing that. So in today's first episode, I've been looking for young ministers in their 20s and the most influential that I have found is Prophet Angel's son. So let's first listen to what Pastor Chris said about it. No, this is powerful. No, the moment I saw that it was UJ, I, I decided to look more closely. They gave me translations. No, they are not. He came to see, look at this, look at this. He circled that room over there and took a stroke up there and it is faith. Then he and circles another thing over there and brings it out here and writes notes. His Bible is full of notes. Look at it. And what I love about his journey so far is how the ministers who have gone ahead of him are pouring into his life. We can see him encountering Archbishop Duncan Williams. Of course, he's mentored by his father, his spiritual father, his prophet angel. We're going to be covering several more videos about his father's influence. We also have great men like Pastor Benny saying this also. I want to say thank you to prophet angel for coming and bringing his amazing anointed son who's 16 years of age. <laughs> that has an amazing prophetic anointing on his life that's just wow amazing you're just 16 with a prophetic minister like that amazing and of course we have younger ministers like apostle michael oropo prophet lovi elias saying this is that you Beth junior how are you doing good to see you you're welcome glory to god and obviously i want to appreciate the seer this is this is their son hubert jr may god bless him he's the next generation may the lord lift him and bless him and listen to his father prophet Andrew, as he talks about how his son got this unction and also listen to why it is that other ministers have poured into his life spirit every time sit down watch I put him way back for him to be sharp. I put him in a room, logged it, and put my videos there, Pastor Chris's videos, and said, when you are spiritual, come out. That's the child abuse I did. <laughs> and look how it turned out. He found the Holy Ghost. And he said, he didn't find the Holy Ghost in order to be removed from a room. No. When I said the punishment was over, he said, no, 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 I need to get back in. And it was exciting in there because angels began to appear. People, ah, realms of the spirit began to come out. The supernatural was materializing into the natural. He says, you know what? I'm, I'm enjoying what is in there. Brother, have you ever been drunk in the spirit? Where you look at tomato and call it peaches. I'm blessed. Yes. But the reality of it is when something is unctioned and is anointed, and I've taken him to every man that I would respect in the spirit, mm. and they would speak the same thing over him. Wow. They would speak the same thing. Wow. Because in lieu of going to Pastor Chris, mm. and when I didn't have access there, I had to find my way of getting him to be fed everywhere I could take him. Yes. Home, here, there, mm. there, 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 there. And then when it happened with Pastor Chris, and he was given impartation as well. So I understand this. This is going to be power. So all you can say is no wonder. No wonder the great action upon his life, as you can see over there, demonstrates the power, good in teaching, the prophetic, the healing action. We have posted videos over there where he was healing the sick and all those things. So I just leave you with uh, him preaching. And um, I'll also conclude with Pastor Chris's words. So tell me what you think in the comment section. Who else do you want me to cover on? Are there also other influential ministers in their 20s? Tell me in the comments below. When it comes to women in ministry, which women preachers do you want me to also cover? Also give me some videos, video suggestions, and we'll get into it. God bless you. You are loved. Now watch what the Bible says. The Bible says, 
be thou an example meaning your identity and responsibility as a youth is to be an example for believers that when you walk you walk as the example in word in conversation in charity in spirit in faith in purity number one in word the proof you are a godly youth is the in the amount of word that you carry the bible says that we shall know them by their fruits out of you you walk into a location you don't speak anyhow why because the amount of word that is in you they meet you they say how come this brother is always quoting bible scriptures it is the amount of word on the inside of you so the bible tells us be an example through the amount of word that you have on the inside of you number two in conversation what are the things you say nowadays in this day and time the only difference between a youth in the world and out of the world is title because when you are in the world and when you meet some of these youth in the church the conversation is the same the things they watch are the same the music they listen to is the same meaning the only difference between them is the title one says he's a christian one says i'm not a christian so the bible is telling us to be an example through conversation what are the things you say number three in charity do you walk in love do you walk in love the bible says how can you love me who you have not seen and hate your brother whom you have seen you are a liar the next thing it says do you walk in the spirit of god the bible says that in that day i was in the spirit but when the bible says in that day i was in the spirit it's not saying that i was living in the spirit what the general was talking about was that level was too much so he had to identify and say that day i was in the spirit there are people that come and testify and they say ah this day on sunday that last week i was in the spirit some of us we are shocked when we are outside of the spirit because from monday to sunday we are spirit beings we are always in the spirit our identity is a spirit you say men we say spirit you say human being we say spirit we are intrusions in the sense realm now next in faith do you walk by sight or do you walk by faith because there are some that walk by sensory perception but then there are those that walk walk by this is what the word of god said so i shall follow what the word of god said i told you there's a realm where men don't talk ah a realm where men don't talk they walk by faith yes this was thing was said yes thing this was said but i walk by faith the most important in purity the word purity there is the word hagnia. The word hagnia means a sinless life, a separated life. Yes, you walk by faith. You walk by spirit. You walk by all these things. But do you walk in purity? Are you separated? This is the biggest lack in the youth today. To walk in purity, hagnia, a sinless life, means to be separated. Yes, I know this thing is taking place. Yes, I know they are going to this location. I know that my family are going on holiday here. I will stay here and be in the word. I will stay at home. Now you, you are from Facebook to TikTok to Instagram, from Instagram to Atomgram, never from Leviticus to Revelation to Matthew to Romans social media to social media not scripture to scripture this is one of the biggest things that we lack in purity to live a pure life means to be separated yes they are no, i know they are doing this but i will stay home today why there is purity bubbling on the inside of you something really special and he's doing it in your spirit he's doing it in your spirit I can say God's cooking something. See? He's cooking something. 